Hey guys, welcome to Clockwork Dandy Noodles. I'm back. I'm sorry, it's a day late. This September has been mad for me, completely crazy. Here is episode 12 of the Aquatope on White Sands. Before we get going, you know the drill. If you like what I do, or if you have just found me for the first time, hi and welcome to the Noodle Bowl. Make sure you are subscribed. We have a new season coming out your way. Tomorrow also marks off the first day of full anime reviews. Blue Period airs tomorrow, so if you are planning to watch that one, it comes out tomorrow. It's the art one. I can't wait. I'll be bringing out my first full review tomorrow for that. Very excited for that one. It's big hype for an anime which is about painting, so that's why I've got my interest on it. And of course, there's a Discord channel too for you to get notified whenever videos are up. And I also tell you guys there's delays, so I think I did actually inform you guys there would be a delay on this one. Let's get going. Did you get the end of season vibes? Well, obviously this anime continues to 24, but bear in mind, most anime seasons nowadays would do the split core thing if they want more episodes. I do predict you do get those heavy ending vibes in this entire episode. I do wonder as well if they were unaware that they would get a continuous runtime because this continues into next season. Perhaps they made this one the way it is because they didn't think there'd be a continue. However, even though this is all about saying goodbye, I didn't really get the this is the end feel from this episode. Obviously, it's not. But even though we're seeing all the people who are affected, who have had a story at the aquarium, it didn't really feel like it was saying goodbye forever. There was no goodbye forever feel to it. Now, with the guy the manager of tingara talking to cuckoo he says kukuru san and san is a honorific of respect normally it's given to somebody where you respect them obviously i always thought it was where you would put it at the end of a guy's name but it, it's also a respectful honorific i could remember this one so him actually saying kukuru san is very very respectful for him and him paying her that massive compliment and offering her a new job at the aquarium which of course is the new future it's very similar to the sense of fuka who was also offered a option and they obviously both have to go and think about it obviously one takes the option one doesn't and i'll talk about it later because fuka 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 we'll get to that we'll get there we'll get there but episode 12s are normally the end of a season, so this episode does feel like it's the end. And if it had just ended here and they were saying, you know, wait another season for the second core, this would have been a very good place to end it. I think it would have really, really worked. But we do have 12 episodes now, an entire season's worth of content still to come. This story really is up in the air and it could go anywhere. Everything is still too play for. I did think Kukuru would, who would take the aquarium offer. I knew it would take her a while, but she is so in love with the work she's done. And obviously Gamma Gamma was her home, even being around the animals. And I think some of the penguins even go to that aquarium. She's going to want to go and work with them. It's nice to also see that everybody at this aquarium has been offered a job at the next aquarium. It does make me wonder if everybody one day will reunite at the, this new aquarium or everyone's going to go to Tingara for a bit. And then they're going to go back to a new Gamma Gamma. Maybe. That's what I still want to think is going to happen. Fuka obviously going back because her mum did say, you know, you're only allowed to stay there for summer. We did know that. There was no mention of being an idol at this point either. I really didn't think she was going to take it. I, You guys know me by this point. You know, I really want Fuka to pursue her new dreams. But obviously with the ending of this and she doesn't take it, I just didn't get the feeling that she was gonna. And that makes me wonder as well, was it even still her dream anymore? By the end of it, she's talking about not actually having a dream. Now, let's talk about Gramp's words of wisdom as we have our final closure, our words from the speaker himself, to keep loving living things and to always try and be kind to people. This is a fantastic moral story. If we were ending the anime right here, if we were actually going to have that break, this is a fantastic takeaway from the entire episode. I love the fact as well that Fuka was taking notes. I had a feeling Fuka was going to bring this poem back at the end. It felt like a really nice way of coming full circle. The heart to heart finally where Fuka still not thinking for herself I think that irritates me because I want to see her think for herself but she's not she's always putting somebody ahead of herself she even flips Cuckoo's worries back to her Cuckoo's all like I want to see you achieve your dream and then of course Fuka comes in and flips it on its head and puts it back to Cuckoo Cuckoo's wish really was my wish it was please just go after your dream but that's also when I was starting to go I don't think it's being an idol anymore I don't think that's her dream I think she's now very very much lost and she doesn't know where she wants to go Cuckoo's request is obviously this is where we get our fake out we get the oh i'll accept it because you've told me to so when cuckoo requests that you do this kind of accepts the offer she accepts to go and take it as long as it will make cuckoo smile Fuka only really putting other people ahead of her and that's a really nice way to be but 
she needs to find herself a goal. She needs to find out where she's going in life because she's never going to get anywhere. And I sympathise with this because I feel a lot of myself in Fuka. Kudos to the details where we see them draining the water to remove the fish. This is exactly how I did it. Um, I went through a system closure. In my line of work, one store to another store. So I saw the system closing down where we took it down to 15%. Then you can take out the fish a lot easier. It's really nice to see them actually mimicking it in the anime. Because I know to most people watching this anime, that doesn't mean anything. But to me, seeing them do that, it's exactly how we did it. So it's just fantastic adding in that little detail there. It did take a whole day. I remember when we closed the system down, it took an entire day just to slowly remove all the fish, doing it gradually, making sure you're not stressing anything out. Shoes are very iconic and we see the shoe icon in the ED and it's broken. This, I think, has been our hint the entire time because it's a broken shoe. The shoes are supposed to be the idea of an idol because you wear heels. Shoes also appear in episode one because that was when she was an idol. And then we see the shoes now next to the boots. I like it as well because at this point it looks like we're going pink to red because the red was a very passionate bold colour. And then obviously she takes the pink with her. She wants to take the boots with her because she's not letting go of them. All part of the fake out which is coming our way here. Now, the plot line we haven't really heard much, but it's been there all the way through, is the idea of the older sister starts to resurface. And I'm really, really happy that it resurfaces, especially in this episode, because this could have been an episode where we split and we were unlucky and we had to wait a season to get the next core. But the face with grandma, grandma's face, it says enough. As soon as Fuka says, I'm like an older sister to her, a big sister, it's the face. You know exactly that she definitely had an older sister. It's definitely been played up as well. Perhaps something happened. I, I was wondering if it would be a stillbirth, but I think the way she says it, it's just she was just never born. The closing sequence, and everything go down, it's just sad, it's very lonely. Being in a building which used to hold such life and now being there on your own. Also allowing Cuckoo to say her goodbyes. The lighting, the details, I said it again, I'll say it now. The art and the details and the colour, everything for this. That's the anime's strong point. Plot, in my opinion, is secondary. As a big lover for Slice of Life, it is so nice to have a Slice of Life anime that looks this rich, this gorgeous. So the cuckoo older sister definitely finally resurfacing again because we see the illusion once more. We've, this is the second time we've seen that visual now. It's the aquarium doing it. The aquarium always does it when somebody is lost. And obviously this is cuckoo's biggest moment for being lost. It shows them what they need to see when they most need to see it. And obviously grandma finally spills the beans that her sister was never born, but she was supposed to have an older sister and this is where we get the line that life is difficult cuckoo is now old enough to understand these words and now that gamma gamma has now closed she does start to worry that will i ever see this illusion ever again i think you will but just got away i think we're gonna end episode 24 on a reopen i just that's my gut check right now that's what my gut thinks this is an entire episode about endings, the aquarium closing down, and now the end of Fuka and Cuckoo's living arrangement. I do think they're going to reunite, maybe a bit later down the line. I do like the fact that it's all smiles until she just gets out of sight, and then you know that she's going to cry. And Fuka doesn't go. I didn't think she was going to go immediately. I knew she was going to run back. It just, something just didn't feel like an ending. I can't, apart from that, I can't, it's a gut vibe. I just didn't think it was going to end just like this. The big sister declaration when they finally reunite. And I'm sorry, that's sinking a lot of ships out there because I know a few people were putting them together. I only see the big sister thing now because that's all I can see. I don't think she's going to be able to see past her being anything more than a big sister. Yes, the idol dream is gone. The broken shoe icon has been there all the way through. I'm, I'm sad. Don't worry, don't worry. I am sad. You guys know how I feel. But Cuckoo is now going to go to a new aquarium. So we have one less thing to worry about. Cuckoo is going to travel on. The closer she can get to her dream is being in an aquarium. Her dream isn't over. She's able to go to a new aquarium. It's good that she's being offered this goal. I love it. One girl has a new path opening up in front of her, but Fuka is stuck. And this is probably my biggest gripe at the moment. Will the next 12 episodes be about Fuka finding her new path and her new dream? Because she does say that she doesn't even think that the idol thing's her thing anymore. She wants to find a new path, a new role. Because she says, be supportive whilst I find it. Fuka reading the poem at the end as well is a really nice comeback. But it is feeling very bittersweet. Fuka is actually our main character. It, she's the one we follow from the start. Obviously, we have two split leads. But Fuka was the one we started on. I do wonder if the next half is going to be focused more on Fuka because Fuka currently hasn't found a dream. She hasn't got a path. She's still lost. If you look at character development and arc progression, Cuckoo has come 
a massive journey round. She's now going to go somewhere else and study there for a bit. She has a goal. She has somewhere to go. Fuka, however, she ran away. Obviously, she found a sister. She found someone very close and dear to her. But she still hasn't found a place to be, a place that she wants to be and she wants to study. She's still got those hang-ups. She will put someone before herself but not think about her own self. So this is why I physically predict the next 12 episodes are going to be more from Fuka's perspective and her going back to Tokyo. Very hyped to see where we now go. I'm excited to see where the story now takes us. We have 12 long episodes and hopefully it's going to be a good one. My prediction, I don't have a lot to go on. I predict that they're all going to reunite at the end at the reopen of a new Gamma Gamma. Somehow they're going to have the money for it. I was really thinking they would go down the idle route that Fuku would get big and then she'd pour some of the money into the aquarium. That I don't think is going to happen, but that was where I was initially thinking. I think that she would pull her dream into allowing Cuckoo to have hers, but that's not quite how it's working. I would also like to see Fuka do some underwater modelling in the aquarium, but I don't think that's going to happen. So it's now going to be... How are we going to get to this happy ending or if that's even going to be a thing? It feels like that's definitely where we're heading. It's now just going to be exciting to see how. So thank you guys so much. What do you think? Where do you think the next 12 episodes are going to take us? Because it's all to play for right now. And what did you think about the ending on this 12th episode? See you guys again soon. Thank you so much for your support. Bye bye, guys.